She wasn't even born wasn't when this thing came out. When it came out, I wasn't. Is that my fault, though? I yes, it so. is your fault. Okay. All right. Uh, okay. Can we get somebody in here? That sounds good. Whatever. I didn't have to be born to understand its importance and its relevance and That's how cool true. it is. Uh, and I appreciate that you I appreciate I think it's it. awesome. Thank so, you no for problem. your wisdom. Hey, you're welcome. Okay. All right. Okay, let's get to our hot topics today. Hot topics. I'm going to turn my earpiece up as we get started. I can't really You may hear. want to hear the show. I it's a good hear, one. I want to hear you because okay. you spit knowledge at every term. <laughs> All righty. You know, we don't need that kind of sarcasm. On this I program. meant it. Yeah. Okay, so let's talk about the big story that's been rocking Hollywood this weekend. Oh, they're talking, talking about. about it. Harvey Weinstein, talk about a crash and freaking burn. My goodness. If you haven't heard about this. There he is. Go. Harvey Weinstein, as we all know, one of the biggest moguls in the movie business in Hollywood. More and more, more women are now coming out with sexual harassment claims that's, against that's, him. I got a feeling that's going to keep happening. This now includes Gwyneth Paltrow and mm -hmm. Angelina Jolie. Now, those two have something in common. One, Brad Pitt. And if you hadn't heard this yet, when he did this maneuver that we've all been reading about, these creepy meetings that he conducts with women alone, yeah. where he either tries to get them to massage him yes, or, or get into the shower or watch him or yeah, yeah. whatever and he puts on a bathrobe Ugh. uh she goes back and tells and i'm talking about gwyneth her, her then boyfriend brad pitt brad pitt has a little meeting with harvey yeah and is roughing him up a bit and yeah. he apologized to brad pitt at the time yeah brad pitt, yeah even then was a big star yeah he was he was probably the hottest guy in hollywood at yeah. the time and Brad Pitt was going to knock his lights out. Yeah, he was. And then she, yeah, Gwyneth said Harvey, you know, begged her not to say anything, but then also threatened her. She said he yelled at me and yelled at me after I went to Brad about it. And, you know, she said I thought he was going to fire me because right. that's the issue here. He's such a huge powerhouse. People haven't been talking out about it. Mm -hmm. This is what, it's so horrifying and disgusting to hear these accounts from people because it's just so upsetting. But three of the accusers are accusing him of rape, yeah. straight up raping yeah. them. It, what, this what? is Horrible. To me, what is horrible, obviously, is behavior, yeah. and we've got criminal elements like that all through society. Yeah. But the endemic and systemic yeah. cover-up that has been going on oh to protect this guy by media types, whether it's networks, whether it's publishing, because they all wanted a seat at the table with Harvey. Mm -hmm. And so they let this kind of thing go on, and they knew about it. I was telling you, Seth MacFarlane did a joke in 2012 when they were doing Oscar announcements, and they went through the uh, list of uh, best actress. Yep. And after the fifth one that he announced, and it was like Amy Adams was in it, and, and Seth made this joke. He said, now these women no longer have to pretend that Harvey Weinstein is attractive. That was the joke in 2012. Yeah. They've known about this forever. And a lot of stars have come out and said, I've heard the rumors. I heard these rumors. Was Jessica Chastain, I read a comment from her, love her. She said, I was warned about him from the beginning. Yeah. And so, I mean, people have known this, or at least have heard the rumors. And oftentimes rumors like that, when they're coming from a lot of people, there's some fact behind them. Yeah, so whether a lot people of smoke. knew for real and were just hiding it or just were like, oh, I don't know. Well, now this is all coming out. And so, coming it, out wait, in a let me way. get this straight. So, Harvey flies to is it Amsterdam now? Yeah, he's to in get Europe. Therapy, and he's in treatment for what he's. You're going to go to Amsterdam? <laughs> Come on, man. Feel free to leave our country, though. Yeah. Uh, no, but yeah, he's been fired from his job. His wife has now announced she's leaving him. That was made overnight, and yeah, he's entered um, well, you know, treatment. He, he goes to Europe, but I guess he's treatment, whatever. But now we got to worry about extradition laws if, in case there is a criminal. Yeah, you're right, because up to this point, like he Roman hasn't been... Like Roman Polanski. Roman yeah. Polanski's been on the lam forever for his yeah. well, alleged crimes. We'll see what happens, but it's just shocking and sickening, yeah. these details when you read these accounts from young actresses. Now, not on any sort of level or scale as what we've just spoken about, yep. but this is a little disturbing. Uh, the U.S. This. men's soccer team, or football, football, has been eliminated from the World Cup contention. They suffered a shocking upset to Trinidad and Tobago last night. Ah, that's a Caribbean ice. The first time the U.S. men have missed the World Cup since 1986. So let's understand this. We are a nation of yes. 300 million people. Yes. We have more wealth than any other nation on the planet, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. That means we got a lot of talent, a great pool to, to grab. Pull from, yes. Oh, my goodness. We should be pretty good. We lose to a little nation. Yeah. And, and an island, a Caribbean island, uh, and we can't even qualify to get in the big show. Yeah. Somebody needs to be fired. And I normally don't say that because I always love coaches. My dad was a coach. I always yeah. feel for coaches. But somebody's got to go. Oh, come on. 
Maybe, I don't know. It's just sad, though, because remember when they were in the work uh, several years ago and it was that whole, I believe that we will win. I, you remember that? No, I don't remember. It was that cheer that everybody was doing when I the men were in it. That was what we were doing. Yes. I wasn't a part of that. You don't believe. You don't believe. Whatever. I remember it. And I was so hyped. It was just so cool to see everybody get behind the that men's soccer fun. team. That was what? 20... Cause I, 13 yeah, 2013. Something. I was yeah, living in Knoxville at the time, so it had to, yeah, so like, yeah, 2012, yeah. 2013. It was so much fun. It was so nice to see because I honestly feel like our men's and women's U.S. soccer teams, they don't get as much credit as they deserve. You know, I don't know. I just think they're well, awesome. They certainly don't deserve any credit now. All right, whatever. Yeah. Next year. There's always next year. It's not next year. you got to wait like four years. Well. <laughs> Or two years. Maybe it's two years. I don't know. What we both don't know, but I want to get behind them, and yeah. I'm sad they didn't get this. Right. I have got an outfit for you. An outfit worn by Colonel Sanders is for oh, sale. Okay. It's a suit worn by the KFC founder back in 1967. Here it is. Lee, yeah. I can see you rocking this. I'd look good in that. Complete with jacket, shirt, and pants. It is a cotton suit. Here it is. A little bit worn, a little bit stained, but... You know, oh, hey, sleeves measure 24 inches long, 31 inches tall. If you would like it's to. a little small for me. A little mean. small. It could be like Capri's. It's for sale on Leland's.com. The auction ends on October 27th. So there's time if you want to bid on this. Okay, you're obviously not going to wear it. If you bid on this, if you do wear it, whatever, that's your business. But if you don't, you can still want a piece of history. This is cool. Oh, that's iconic. Yeah. I, I mean, that's neat. one of the more, think about it, as far as outfits go. I don't know that you can come up with one that is that famous. Everybody knows Colonel that Sanders. That a guy there, yeah. wore, yeah. Yeah. I think it's pretty cool. I'll be inter interested to That would be worth some money, I would imagine. I want to know where it came from, where it's been this whole time. Maybe mm. his family has donated it or something. Yeah. You ever know. been to Claudia Sanders? No. What's it's, up in, it's, it's his wife's place. It's up in, well, yeah, it's named after her. Claudia. Uh, and it's like an upscale KFC up in Shelbyville. Really? Never been there? No. Uh, you got to go. I do need to go. I just wish I had someone to take me. Mm -hmm. oh. No, nope. <laughs> nope, not you? Okay. Oh, my gosh. Lee's been talking about this for a couple of days. Have you seen it? The trailer for the next Star Wars film, The Last Jedi, has been released, and fans are freaking out and apparently watching it over and over and over again. Mm -hmm. The number of views just in the last uh, couple of days since this came out, crazy on YouTube. It debuted during Monday Night Football. The Last Jedi is the eighth episode in the Star Wars saga. It's a direct sequel to the 2015 blockbuster Star Wars The Force Awakens. The film opens December 15th. What do you think? Well, no spoiler alert here, but I can't imagine. As excited as I am, and I am so excited, I'd have been a thousand times more excited if Han Solo was still alive. Yeah. If they go and kill him. Uh, but nonetheless, they, the way they've, and we were, t I was talking uh, with our chief photographer, yes. Brian Gilbert, who's my go-to guy when it comes to all things Star Wars. Yes. We, He's a we huge talk fan. about this. They, they've cut this thing to make you think there is some... And I'm holding a lightsaber, if you're wondering. I was wondering. I'm not sure what time it is. <laughs> when I was a kid, I'd just go around making that noise. Like, <laughs> They're like, do we need to take him for a check? Is he all right? Um, they've, they've cut that thing to make you think that... Uh, and this is who she... That's her doppelganger, by the way. You kind of look like Daisy Ridley. He thinks bit. I look like Daisy Ridley. You look like Ray. Which I take as a huge compliment, because she is cool. I love her. I think she's awesome. So... Uh, anyway, I don't know. Uh, so uh, Ray is saying, "I just need somebody to guide me," and you think, "Well, she's talking to Luke," but the way they've cut the trailer, it looks like she's talking to Kylo Ren, the bad guy. And you're like, "What?" No. But again, I think that's no. just them messing around with us. Yeah. There, there's Haley there's Harmon, Haley. everybody. Does that, wait, let me get. Hang yeah, on, get, hang on. get in tight on Haley there, you guys. So we'll do a little comparison. It's I'm, it's very similar. You're like okay. <laughs> See, I'm telling you. Don't smile. I'm you're ruining it for everybody. Every time you smile, you ruin it. I say that a lot, by the way. When it. we're shooting stuff, I'll try to say, play this straight, Haley. And then she I say the same to him. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> Boop. Okay. Um, well, the new Oreo mystery flavor, we talked about this a couple weeks ago when they first announced this was coming out. But the new Oreo mystery flavor has now hit shelves, and people are trying it and trying to figure out what the flavor is. Mm -hmm. Here's the packet. If you've seen this in the store, you probably have now. If someone guesses what the flavor is correctly, they're up for a chance to win 50000 bucks. You can guess now through November 30th. You're allowed to one guess a day. Mm -hmm. uh, head online to find out more details. Um, Chris Goodman was telling me this morning on Sunrise, because I haven't tasted these yet or read much about we th it. We think it's menthol. Uh, okay, that's one guess. No, he was saying, he was hearing reports, people saying they thought it tasted like um, Trix cereal, like a fruity, 
Well, that's not an official submission, though, right? I mean, you could, you're supposed to say apple or orange, right? Not trick cereal. I don't know. I mean, it could taste like anything. I haven't tasted it, but he was just saying that's what he'd heard some people Mr. online. Mystery's always, mm. always coconut. we got to vote for coconut over there. Well, I need to taste it. I, they already have apple. They do not have apple an apple. Oreo? They have an apple Our Oreo. Our camera op says they have apple pie. I just got it. Yeah. Oh, she just got it. I don't remember her sharing. I, why mess with it? Why mess with it? Double stuff was the only mess we needed because the double stuff... God bless. It's so good. <laughs> you know, what was the other thing we were, when we were at Kroger the other day? They had uh, uh, Reese Cup pumpkin. Yeah. Why? No, 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 no. No, no, no. It's just a pumpkin-shaped one. What we were talking about is the fact that they had a white chocolate version. Well, that's what I meant. Oh. But that, in that pumpkin flavor? No. No, it's just shaped like a pumpkin. Are you sure? Right? Yeah. I Have you not ha do you even Halloween? Hello? I didn't buy it because I like the white chocolate flavor. Oh, right. I didn't buy it because you made me think it was pumpkin. Well, I did have... You, you lost a fortune. Way to go, Sorry. Reese's Cup. Way to go, Reese's Cup. <laughs> well, Ikea is selling... Way to go for clearly labeling your merchandise that it's yeah. just pumpkin-shaped. <laughs> By the way, are we done with hot topics? We got one more real quick. Okay, well, Ikea is selling a new line of items for pets. They've got everything, uh, like food and water bowls, uh, toys, collars. they got your old scratching posts for cats and, and beds. You can check out their goods on their website, Ikea. Dot com. Look at those toys. Everybody loves Ikea already. Well, people what love a, it or hate it. Some people are like, oh, I don't like this. It's too trendy. But a lot of people love it. And, yeah, this is. I think this is neat. Sometimes I think more. we should be ashamed, though, because we spend billions of dollars yeah. on animals. <laughs> Just like, we could be, and I love dogs. You know, you know that. I love, My dad's a veterinarian, so we appreciate right. it. No, and I don't mean, I don't mean basic <laughs> health. I mean... Toys and toys that and kind things. of thing. When, oh my, Birthday parties. Could we not spend money on something more productive? Yeah. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Okay. That's I have Because your you. dog, why does he care? Does he need something from Ikea? Or could you just throw out a paper towel roll? Yeah. Mm -hmm. He'd be just as happy. Um, head to Tennessee. My dad sells collars. Um, he sells candles. Um, He's got a gift shop at the office? Yeah. Why not? Okay. Pet odor destroying candles. Can't Again, I'm not smells. talking about basic health things. Know, I'm, I'm talking about IKEA. All right. Anyway, he's talking to you. Those are today's hot topics. Hot topics.